And now, in this most serious and dire of times, the death of all the cool things in Akihabara, this is the time in which we read our dramatic comment of note. From episode 25, Colt writes, in response to a boy being hit by lightning and turning into a girl, I said, isn't that porn? No, it's Ranma one half, he writes. I see. Okarin fell into the spring of drowned Chuni. That's his problem. And because he never takes a shower, that means he's never exposed to hot water to turn him back into a normal person. We've cracked the case. So he's always in Chuni mode. <laughs> the question is, what's Daru's excuse? Speaking of not having an excuse, we're the bittersweet gamers. Oh, well done, well done. I'm the opinionator. I'm we squared. So, in all seriousness, in order to connect with Ferris's network to help find an IBN 5100, Ferris sent an email. Well, not only did that email change everything, but we also can't use your network to help find a 5100 because she didn't agree to do that in this world line. To be fair, now that Akihabara is an electronics place, that might be more likely to find an IBM 5100? That's true, actually. Now that I think about it, that's a good point. Speaking of altering everything, isn't it strange how Divergence has been going down? Yeah, uh, I know you had some thoughts on that completely independently. I also had thoughts on that, so let's find out if they're the same. John Titer went back in time, and Divergence was 0.57, right? Yeah, yeah. 0.57 something? But every D-mail that's been made so far has caused Divergence to shift towards the primary world line, thus causing less Divergence. Maybe sending D-mails willy-nilly is allowing nature to correct itself bit by bit, like the attractor fields have more pull because there's far less thought going into these. Even though Titer said, well, the Everett Wheeler model isn't exactly correct, like, we still don't know how it works. I'm assuming that there's not some prime reality that everything <laughs> is, is divergent from. Each number of divergence we get, it, that's how divergent it is from the previous world line. And we know that for a fact because Titer said so. But I think you're still on to something. If I'm understanding attractor fields right, and there's literally no guarantee that I am. <laughs> Since the divergence is going down with every change, granted, that's divergent from the world line from whence we came, that number is getting smaller regardless of the scale of the change that is made from our perspective. Saving a life and changing Akihabara and it is not so divergent, Changing, or perhaps it would be more accurate to say restoring Nuka's sex is less divergent than Nuka buying a lottery ticket for Okarin. Yeah. The only way that can be interpreted is that zero is like the destination of the attractor fields. It's hard for me to really articulate this in a way that I'm satisfied with, but... In a sense, I think all the willy-nilly small changes are sort of like creating a vortex of, like, instability, of chaos, that's kind of dragging us into whatever disaster we're going to be facing. Yeah. And I think that disaster that we're ostensibly attempting to overcome, i.e., CERN ruling the world is what we're actually headed to. That if we just left well enough alone... Everything wouldn't be going to crap. Like, Titer fixed everything and saved the world where Okarin was originally from. And little by little, we've been undoing it. I see! Whoops! That's what I'm expecting. Sorry, Titer! Because there has to be some reason that the Divergence is approaching zero. That makes a lot of sense. And that also jives with the statement Titer made about wanting to break through 1%. God, how could you predict enough to... You can't! Me? You shouldn't mess with junk like this! <laughs> we now return you to our regularly scheduled episode of Steins Gate. 
where Okarin's mental breakdown is already in progress. It's clear now. This has to be the result of Ferris's D-mail. The butterfly effect is at it again. Ferris said she had influence over Akiba's development board. They adopted her plan and embraced the Moe industry. However bizarre that was to believe. But by sending a D-mail to 2000, she's negated that either directly or indirectly. Shifting the world line to one where Moe culture has no place in Akiba. Personally, I wouldn't mind it if the Moe culture were gone, but the otaku culture were still there. <laughs> but I'm sure the Moe folks would say the same to me. <laughs> Let's fight. That has to be it. Well, we're winning right now. To think that a single male could rewrite ten years of a town's history. It's like there's unforeseen consequences to fucking time travel! <laughs> Who would have known? Is it okay to change history on a whim like this? I almost feel guilty about it. But since I'm the only one who remembers the original Akiba, nobody can blame me. Except you. Hey, guess what? We can blame you, too. It is his fault. It not, is! Not Ferris's. Blame is an interesting word, isn't it? Blame? What does he need to be blamed for? Well, the answer would be, whether he does or not, I'm following along with his thinking, not taking a position on right. this. Right. The answer would be the changes in people's lives. How many other people have had changes in their lives because of this? For instance, what about... How many people's lives have been made worse because of this? Right. I was trying to see if I could come up with some sob story off the top of my head explaining how a loss ah. of Moe Akiba would, could lead to somebody having a worse life. But you know what? That's more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> but how about this? Something I noticed when editing the last episode, Mayuri, Mayuri doesn't make costumes. What? She doesn't make costumes? Here? Why would she? That's why she had to get serious about costumes again. Oh, I didn't... Maybe not, but, like, there's some level with that, right? I guess it would have to be. Something that we didn't notice but was pointed out to us was that Mayuri called Luka, Luka-chan, not Luka-kun. And Luka did not correct herself to Kyoma-san when speaking on the phone. In other words, looks like the sex change really did work. And she no longer has the same relationship with him that she did before. Because the world is changed, they can't have that relationship. Because Moe culture isn't all throughout Akiba, Mayuri doesn't have the chance to make all the costumes. Now, I could be taking that too far. That makes sense, but, though. But it's like, we clearly had the bit with Buka, and then we get the Mayushi saying, I need to be serious about costumes. That's all we've ever seen her do. Yeah. You're right. Is make costumes. Is Mayuri happier that way? Or is she less happy that way? And regardless of whether the answer is more or less, do you really have the right? Does any individual have the right to make such drastic changes in people's lives? And right now, what about Moeka? Where's the IBN 5100? We might have it in this one. Um... Like a D-mail was sent. Nobody knew Moeka. Then a D-mail was sent, and then Maishi knew Moeka again. And now another D-mail was sent. So now what? Schrodinger's Moeka. <laughs> Schrodinger's finger. <gasps> My hand is possibly glowing with an awesome power. <laughs> and it's, it's not like I can change it back. Even if I wanted to change it back. How would I do that? You could just end up making it worse. Straight up sent winning lottery tickets to the past, and it still failed. Or winning lottery numbers. Y yeah, yeah. Same difference. But still, what in the world did Ferris's D mail say?
I mean, she was saving your dad, of course. Yeah, obviously. The next morning, I, I go for a stroll through the streets of Akiba. Whatever they are. <laughs> The few electronic stores that I used to frequent are still here. In fact, they've multiplied. Well, that makes perfect sense. If I were him, after every email, I would check in with everyone I know, just to be safe. Yeah, like we said last time, they need to come up with a way to communicate this stuff. Like a catchphrase, like, Reading Steiner happened again, you know? Because to not do stuff like that is to only make it worse. The maids and young female otaku have disappeared, but the hobbyist essence of the town is unchanged. It's just a different hobby. I admit that at least is a relief. Yesterday, I heard from Mayuri how we met Ferris on this world line. I was wondering, since May Queen no longer exists, the way that a tractor fields... And I realize I say the way the way we talk about attractor fields is like we're talking about a will, which is exactly what my response was when Titer first brought this up. That there seems to be, it's like a will. Yeah, and it does seem to be like that. It's like they wouldn't allow us to not be in the apartment. So there had to be this whole reason, a backstory for us knowing each other. Right. Then again, maybe this was how we met originally. Maybe this is actually the, the correct one and not the weird one. No, I don't want my brain to explode again trying to think of the stuff. It was at a small Rynet tournament at a toy store in Ikebukuro. We went to cheer on Daru, but he dropped out because of a stomach ache, so Mayuri and I ended up taking his place. Because he dueled her in the other world line, he has to duel her again. Yes, that's it! That wasn't even how I was thinking of it, but yeah. Our opponent was Faerus. That was the beginning of their beautiful friendship. Because they were friends, they have to be friends. I head back to the lab. They're reading magazines. Mayuri's not sitting there making... A costume, you're right. She's just reading different magazines. Like she's interested in it, but doesn't have as much accessibility to it as she did in the previous world line. There's no way you could live in a place like Akihabara and not be slightly infected, at least to the point that you wouldn't think it was weird. Like, maid cafes are too weird for me. <laughs> but, like, I get it. I'm comfortable with it. Obon. A Japanese holiday during which people return to their hometown to see parents and relatives. This includes paying respect to family members who have passed away by visiting and cleaning their graves. Good for Duka. Again, she was always really androgynous. She what does the... seem happier. Of course, of course. But it's like, what the heck happened to make her a guy? Someone in the comments did say that it's possible by getting that page, it may have changed the timing of something. Like maybe when the when the egg was fertilized. Yeah, like when the uh, conception occurred. Yes. And, and that change is like, a minor change is all that matters. Because it could have been that her mother wasn't pregnant yet. Oh, I bet that was it. That's the only way that makes sense. Still, I can't believe that even though we're the people who chant the stealth theme of this game is names, that we miss the Nuka-chan from Mayuri. And, and the, the Okabe-san. Right. Okari! Ohayo! Thanks, guys. Keeping us honest. <laughs> Of course, what she is reading is probably the same type of magazine. Either, Most likely. Either like a cosplay costume magazine or just some sort of otaku merch, but... What 
同人写真集を見つけたんだだからねつい衝動買いしちゃったのは That's certainly a very mighty move. Also, this horrible rat Okarin, who needs to die for the sake of all otaku everywhere. <laughs> does, it, does this mean that he has acquired another girl who hangs around him all the time and is clearly interested in him? I guess so. Ora, mite, Eruka chan. Kore, Buratu no Sedona Kosu da yo. Blood Tune? Fictional, a popular TV anime based on a manga. 26 episodes were broadcast last year. The main heroine, Seira Orgel, is especially popular among anime otaku. I got nothing. I don't know. I see. She's showing it to Rukako as part of his re education. To think that he was so reluctant to get involved in cosplay. Looks like Mayuri's persistence has paid off. Let me make sure to not pay any attention to anything and completely. Well, he tried. He tried <sighs> immediately after it happened, but. Come on, man. <laughs> If I had been through as many world line shifts as he had, I would be suspicious of every change in behavior of my friends to every degree. No matter how small, yeah. No matter how small. Daru like dives in through the window. I heard someone talking perverted! Daru, why did you climb up to the second floor and jump in through the window? <laughs> I couldn't be bothered with stairs. Well, as was said, she is washboard. Mm -hmm. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Comes with the androgynous look. <laughs> hey now, Mayuri, what are you saying? It's like you're referring to Daru with that remark. That would have been my reaction were I drinking. I know how you feel, assistant. Okay. That's good. Yeah, it's good we have that confirmation. But probably not to the same level that she was before. Meanwhile, the two nerds are like, being out in the sun with all that skin showing. No thanks, we'll turn into lobsters. I swear, if they actually just go to the beach. <laughs> How many are there? That's the next big question. What are you doing here, by the way? We kind of need to know. Is she translating the stuff that Dara was supposed to get her, or are they not hacking CERN in this world line? Oh! 
確かにラボでのんびりと読書をしているほどだからなよほど余裕がないと見える Do you like how I said that? I went, oh, 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 like I was some kind of wounded Tarzan or shot dog. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I, okay, okay, baby. Please forgive me, please. Got to the Hakiri, you are the Moral. Hent I are of Tari to Issuni Kaisu Yoku and the Ittera Leruka. 女子メンバー限定というなら喜んで参加させてもらうわ。I would like to point out that o k a r i n did say lab girls, right? Including Ruka, and she's saying that too. Well, when o k a r i n said lab girls, he clearly wasn't referring to Ruka because a few minutes later he was calling Ruka a guy. I, I understand that, but just okay, I mean, it just seemed a little weird. <laughs> like maybe it was a subconscious slip. <laughs> 素直になったらどうだクリスティーナ私は全部の猛虎犯を男子に見られたくないので一緒には行けませんとマンゴリアンスパッドブルーシュバースマークコメンディファウンドアンアジアンチルドレンユーシュリーディスピーズバイビーエージョファイブ I guess you don't know about that Now I don't look at many Asian children ダイモン That's good I, I can't speak for Europe, but like here in the US, there's nothing like this. But this is a real thing.、Uh, it's, it's just a birthmark. I have no idea what the origin of it is, but it's like where a tail would be. Huh! That's kind of interesting. I'm pretty sure this is probably why in Asian folklore you find animal spirits. That are humanoids with tails, which、oh. led to. Okay! Huh! The more you know. But then again, a tail is the extension of a spine used for balance, and in some cases, in some cases there are for vestigial reasons.、Mm -hmm. And so, we're mammals, we have a spine, so. Why the heck were we talking about that anyway? So, 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 Here we go. And even if Makise was going to the beach, do you think she'd wear that revealing of a swimsuit? Well, really, she just wants to see Luca in a swimsuit, but <laughs> someone's about to be slapped. Mm hmm. What do you mean? I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Luca is a very good man. What do you mean? My declaration of the truth! Freezes the air instantly. Ah, are Nande? Sayakune, Anta. Onna no kuni mukate, otoko yobawari nante. Every other time after a world line shift. The game would go on with Okarin being Okarin, the usual jokey, slice of lifey stuff, like talking about something and kind of joking around. And so it started to do that again, but now he's about to realize the consequences of one of the other world line shifts that he couldn't confirm before. So the game's kind of faking us out like that. So, Dayo, Okarin. そういうこと言うのはね、マユシ好きじゃないな。Is he crying? I mean, you can't change his basic personality, which is mousy. Yeah, and that's not entirely how I describe it, but not particularly confident and a little high strung. It's just this way. She's much more comfortable in her own skin. Yeah. Kurisu's staring daggers at me. Kuristina. Oh my god. Genjis Karameo, Somuketa Kunaruno, a walker. Lukako, a otoko de Arinagara. Totemo Karen da Karana. Okade. And whereas this is something that they could bring up before. 
They can't now because the circumstances allowing them to talk about it, allowing Luca to talk about it, are gone. Oh, yeah. They do not exist. This would have been a perfectly okay thing to say before. あたしに変てこのあだ名をつけるぐらいなら冗談で済むからいいけど、いや、本当は良くないが。今のあんたの言い草は冗談になってない。他人を傷つけるようなやつじゃないと思ってたけど、違ったみたいね。今のあんたは
I don't mean anything bad by it. He's one of my best friends. What's going on here? Is this some kind of stupid prank? <laughs> I don't know. In some ways, you'd kind of think that he'd start to get mad. This is what happens when you don't talk about anything! God dang it! This is not the right way to go about this! Yeah. Uh, 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 that's a bit much, man. Come uh, on. Uh, one thing, one thing that you can definitely count on Stein's Gate to do is be awkward with this stuff. Moving along. <gasps> Guys, this is obviously not fair. Why would he suddenly start talking like this? What are you even... Why would he do this? He, he wouldn't... He wouldn't do this otherwise. It's because they don't talk. Okay, come on, man. What the heck? Ah! <laughs> You know, in other things, in other games or shows, this could be an awkward facepalm moment or maybe get a laugh. Mm -hmm. This is, it feels wrong. It does. This it is does. just wrong. It's wrong in every way. No, no way! Lukaku, you... The D mail that I thought had failed. And didn't really try and follow up on in any meaningful way. Was actually a success! Ah! Luca Koyo! I have succeeded! I have helped you! I'm a genius! Especially in this position. <laughs> you can let go of her now. Oh my god! <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what that book was. <laughs> a half second later, a piercing jolt of pain rang through my head. Stars explode all around me, and I hear cartoon sound effects. <laughs> Don't you mean something like... Yeah, but I can't whistle, so... That just sounded like you were harassing a donkey. <laughs> Don't you worry about my cartoon sound effects. Worry about your own. It feels as if I'm being welcomed into the gates of heaven. Bad end. As punishment, I spend the next 30 minutes on my knees under Kurisu's watchful eye. If I slouch for a second, I get the corner of her book. <laughs> Anyway, I flee the lab as soon as my punishment is over. The silent pressure from the girls is just too much to bear. It's my own lab. Why'd I get kicked out? And staying true to form, I don't try and explain myself in any way. <laughs> I'll keep the moral high ground to myself. <laughs> Suffering in silence. My legs are so numb from the kneeling, I can barely stand up straight. She says as if she hadn't heard the whole thing from outside the window. Baito Senshiyo! Don't ask. <laughs> Please! <laughs> I'm strengthening my legs! You should try it sometime! It makes you powerful! I ride a bike. <laughs> 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 
When she aimlessly gazes skyward, I follow suit. Huge clouds are slowly swallowing the blue. The blue clouds? No, the blue sky. Yeah, I know, but that's not how it sounds. Huh? I can't confirm! That's great weather for cycling! It's so damn hot! How can you exercise on a day like this? Well, once you actually get some speed going, the air kind of cools you down as it flows around you, and... Anyway. Yeah, Okarin! Quit complaining! We could talk about John Titus some more. Maybe she's going to kill you? <laughs> I mean, possibly not. I'm pretty sure that she's actually my favorite character after all. She's one of mine too, and it may or may not have to do with the cycling. I may be biased. Seriously? I get thrown out of a lab full of women and then come down here and a chick asks me on a date? Oh, Karin, you know one... I'm sorry, you know two people who are not female. Mr. Brown and Daru. Everyone else you know is a female. Including Nuka's dad. I, I guess I forgot about that. Yeah, okay. But she doesn't normally interact with him. Come on. She has to be joking. She wasn't joking! I am a scientist. <laughs> oh man, nice 3D bike. I'm kind of afraid. <laughs> Seriously, the only phobia I have is riding a bicycle. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> What kind of mad curse is this? You think she'd be able to pedal with your huge butt hanging off the end? Yes. No. Huh. That doesn't make sense. Besides, Aristotle's not my specialty at all! Aristotle is awesome. We barely made it to the station. I'd die if I went another block! This was a terrible idea. I should have known better. You should have at least taken the jacket off! Atashisa. Billy, he can't take the lab coat off. To do that would be to deny his very identity! Banana! Yeah, but then he wouldn't have to exert as much force to get going, and he wouldn't be as hot. Banana? Banano. Banana, okay. Tokyo ni kita no wa, toka mai ga hajimete nan da yo ne. Huh, I didn't know that. Natsu yasumi o riyo shita kanko dewa nai yo na. Oh! 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 Is she John Titor's daughter? Quite possible. <laughs> and or, and I do mean and or, Okabe Rintaro, or Daru's daughter. I didn't even think about that. I thought of Mr. Brown, but... <laughs> um... Do you figure she'd have the same color hair as Nye? I mean... <laughs> she kinda uh, does. I guess she does. That would explain why Tennoji, Yugo, and Nye are in the game. As well as having like an actual connection to the other stuff. Because I'd been trying to figure out why they were actually in the game, and furthermore, in the game to the degree where their voices are listed on the config screen. Look, <laughs> in Demon Bane and Fate Stay Night, when on the voice settings where you pick it by character, not all the bad guys are listed. Right. In fact, in Demon Bane, only one of them is. Like, that's a normal way to do it, so it's like, if they're not listed as others... And I realize this is like a meta way of looking at it, but if these two aren't listed as others, they're here for a reason, and we currently haven't seen it. So 
Like, I have a strong suspicion you're right. Also, she's possibly the antagonist. しかし、ならばバイトなどしている場合ではないのでは。当てがないっていうのが正直なとこ。警察に捜索願いは出したのか？ Maybe Mr. Brown is John Titer. Who knows? <laughs> well, probably not. I I, I don't think so. No. Nah. I've got it. That bicycle is John Titer. We haven't accused the bicycle of being John Titer yet. Damon, just because you hate bicycles doesn't mean you can make it the antagonist of this game. I hadn't even thought of that, but my god, you're right. The bicycle is the villain. <laughs> it's the villain. It's the truth. Now. I was making fun of myself for having accused everyone of being John Titer. <laughs> あとは金があるならば更新所に頼むとか。そんな予算がないな。それにいろいろ事情があるんだよ。Uh-huh。Issues. <笑> Circumstances was the word she used. たださ、1回だけチャンスはあるんだ。Oh, yeah? Uh, oh, yeah? I have the feeling something really important is going to happen on August 9th. No. Uh oh. A certain place. That has a rather ominous ring to it. Well, time to completely forget it like I do every suspicious thing she says. You'd think I would hear these ominous things and find them awesome, but instead I just uh, file it away under what? Did that happen? Oh, I guess it did. Yeah, in a manner of speaking, I'm sure. So the question is, how many characters other than Maki Kurisu are going to die tomorrow? <laughs> if she leaves tomorrow, and she is the time traveler with the satellite, there goes their chance to send more emails. Assuming that our theory about the satellite being connected to all of that is correct. わかるぞ、その気持ち。誰も知らないこの町でたった一人で父親を探す。さぞや心細いことだろう。不安な気持ちを紛らわすため、誰かに相談したいわけだな。そして身近にいる人間でもっとも頼りになりそうなこの法王陰気を真に姿分けかあいつはあいつはあいつはあいつはあいつはあいつはあいつはあいつはあいつはあいつはあいつはあいつはあいつはあいつはあいつはあいつ
決まっている時間を遡ることができる人類科学の夢 D メールだお前にはその実験台となってもらおう<笑>ブエ<ー><笑> You dense mother trucker after what just happened <笑> Huh? My god! This is rank foolishness、oh. after After, like, destroying Akiba and the instance with, with Nuka, he's like, Well, let me just let somebody else use a D mail. Someone he knows even less about. What do you do? What? 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 お前にも過去を変えてもらうのだもっともその変えた過去を認識できるのはこの俺だけだがなあ、ah, Now his attitude has shifted in a way he's sort of playing God ひどうだと思うのならば勝手にするがいいだがお前はもはや俺の毒がにかかった子羊逃がしはしないあ,あそうだいいことを思いついたお前が過去へ送るメールの内容についてだ<笑>いいかよく聞けお前は蒸発する前の父親へとコーメールを送るのだ。娘を置いていくな。とな。お、お、お、カリン。because it's that simple。you know。way to make light of her entire story。I suppose the better question。and this is me saying as me。if he's the kind of person。to ditch his family。Is she better off with him in her life? Well, but once again, I'm biased. That extremely stickety wicket of a thorny question aside, there's obviously more going on here. Or we have completely misread the entire situation and there isn't, but I don't think that's the case. <laughs> No. Me? No, I'm this great, insane, mad scientist bringer of chaos. <laughs> I'm not a nice guy at all. You turned into Motokuma. Nanka, just a little bit. Raku ni natta kamo. Oh my. Ore o bujok sir tomori ka. Ore wa ii yats nato dewa nai. 実験のことしか考えていない狂気のマッドサイエンティストである !You can probably tell since I've started doing it, but this way of, his, of talking that he's been doing lately is really funny!Wait, <笑><笑> no, that was Motokuma. わかったならば、お前の父親の携帯アドレスを教えろ教えなければ。俺の右腕が火を吹くぞちなみに。封印が解かれた右腕を俺は制御できないお前の命も保証できんと言っておこうごめん無理なんだあくまで逆らうのか I warn you once I unleash the power of my right arm it will drop you relentlessly <laughs> Huh.
Make sense. The person that he couldn't experiment on is the person who already knows the outcome of such experiments. It's like if she's not the antagonist, she's like a pseudo antagonist. It just hasn't come up yet. Maybe not a hostile antagonist? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, that's. that's. that's, 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 that's I can't talk, sorry. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Have you talked to John Titer? Upgrade? Why don't you talk to John Titer? Maybe uh, you had some ideas on how it might be upgraded? Kento <laughs> Judah. <laughs> it's a microwave. We can't fit a person in. Also, something about jellification. Mainly that last part. No good ideas yet, though, but we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah? <laughs> You're gonna give us some advice, huh? With a close-up like this? About time travel or time machines? Yeah, yeah. what do you got? Mm-hmm. Because she doesn't need to learn how to make those, does she? No. Because because she has to die for the good of the world, etc., etc. Yeah, it's the ex expectation. Perfection of the time machine, conquest of the world by third. I mean, uh, <clears throat> yeah, she just has a problem with physicists, with young genius physicists that might apply and or be recruited by a particular organization that might just want physicists. Yeah. Especially one that can prove that they're a genius physicist by graduating from a major technical university in the U.S. at age 17 or 18. The usual. The usual. Just, just saying that I'd, that's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> Wait. Maki says leaving tomorrow. Mm -hmm. She's not looking for her father. She wants to get Maki say alone so she can kill her. Don't you remember what I said before? No, I'm not so positive that that's true. But the first thing I said before is what character other than Maki say Kurisu is going to wind up dead tomorrow? I already assumed that part. <laughs> but she really could be looking to see her father, or Mr. Brown is her father, and that's why she was here waiting for this time. Remember, she showed up, assuming we read what happened correctly, which may not be the case, but she showed up and killed Kurisu. Then right. There was a worldwide shift, and, mm -hmm. and that that was... Canceled uh, out. So she didn't have that opportunity, so instead she came to visit, say, her father. I see. And conveniently hang around with... Uh, her herself? Or if that part isn't true, then at the very least keep an eye on her target. But it's like, doesn't that, mm -hmm. all of that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Like, kill two birds with one stone kind of thing. A phrase that kind of literally, I guess. <laughs> kill two birds with one satellite. See ya, you're going to have to walk back. That's exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> I suppose the mindset here is if she doesn't meet her father, she might be able to send a D-mail to herself to help her meet her father. I don't think that's what he meant. Um, but that, that could be really interesting. Or could happen if it fails then that happens. He gets her to send a D-mail to help herself, and then that D-mail hits, and then bam, Kurisu is just no longer there and is now dead. And that's the part where everything is screwed up. 
Because come to think of it, the only people who've sent emails that haven't done anything are Mayushi and Daru. It's just been the gradual escalation. That's all it's been. Well, it's, but their emails... Mayushi no, I understand, guys, oh. I understand what you're saying, but I'm telling you, that's not relevant. It's not oh, that oh. there's failed, per se. I mean, they did. It's it's an escalation of the effect. Mm. Okay, first, first it, it was... It was really silly, really small stuff. Then Daru's winning a, a card game was on a bigger scale than the previous jump, but still a tiny scale. Then after that was the turn Nuka into, into a girl, girl, and that succeeded. Then after that, it was save a life and change the entire city, and that succeeded. Okay, it's not about the failure or succession, okay. the failure or success. It's about the... The gradual escalation. And the way the tension after each one has built is such that this is the one that should be... Tip the scales. Yeah, and everything should go crazy. <laughs> she laughs happily, and I suspect quite genuinely. Then she starts pedaling, leaving me here. Kisama! <laughs> 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 Translation, you, please wait for me. Cat tongue, nya. Sorry I couldn't come today, nya. To make up for it, I'll bring some delicious kanyam tea next time. Let's drink it with everyone, nya. Kanam, kanam, I don't know. Uh -huh. If you don't know it, I sure as heck don't. Do I reply? Yes. Thanks, I needed to know. Some other Norse deity concerning time, I suppose. Not time. And Norse mythology. The cauldron used to cook for the gods. Eldrimnir. I'll tell you what Eldrimnir really is. The excuse to end this episode, because it's August 9th and crazy stuff is about to happen. Sounds like a good reason to me. <laughs> 